Hey, 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 my name is Jenny Potter and I am here, Bula Vida, to share with you a really cool and simple way to plan your social media content for the next 30 days. Now, hopefully you are grabbing a pen and paper because you will need it during this uh, strategy session uh, because we will actually plan together at least the next seven days, if not the next 30 here in this presentation. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because some days I feel like a genius when it comes to what I'm posting on social media, what I'm going to talk about, how I'm going to create curiosity, but other days I I struggle other days I feel like there's absolutely nothing to talk about and I cannot come up with a thing and so what I did was I created a formula that helps me post consistently and daily which is really important when it comes to social media stuff that will create curiosity online so that people reach out to me to find out what it is I'm doing uh, and how can they be a part of it so for your next 30 days, we're gonna talk about your Bula Vida strategy, building your business. Now, as I mentioned, uh, creating curiosity and being consistent are super important when coming to build your business. So when you're building your business on social media, it's kind of like having this steady flow of information and steady flow of uh, little snippets of your life and things that you're doing that make you feel better, look better uh, and live a better life. And that's what Bula Vida really is about, is about living our best life, both in the health arena and in the wealth arena. So we wanna add people, add value to people's lives. We wanna be consistent about doing that. And while we're posting about Bula Vida, we wanna create curiosity. So when I say that, what I mean is we're not openly posting about Bula Vida. We're not saying, join Bula Vida now. We're not holding up our muscadine booth saying, buy now. But what we are doing is we're talking about the results and the benefits that come from being part of an incredible company that is changing lives, that has the best comp plan, that has the best products, that has high impact change. You can change lives forever. And you can change more lives when you create curiosity uh, because a lot of people are kind of resistant to obvious sales. They're resistant when you're like, join now. They're like, ah, I'm being sold to. And they pull back. And what we want to do is we want people to lean in. We want to create curiosity so that people are literally leaning forward and reaching out. And so how we're going to do that is just in a couple of steps, we're going to create and plug into a formula that will help you not only uh, be creative and create curiosity, but also be consistent. So here we go. The first thing we're going to talk about is uh, a daily theme. Then we're going to talk about a weekly theme. And then we're going to talk about uh, brainstorming different ideas that you can talk about. So this is kind of cool because as a group, Bula Vida has a lot of things to talk about. So the first thing we want to uh, kind of tackle is that daily theme. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a rotating theme. So what I mean is you're going to have Monday mindset, Tuesday fitness tips, Wednesday, weight loss, you're going to have some categories, which you get to choose. And you're going to use those seven categories every single week. Uh, so you can be flexible. I want to mention that if you have a great idea to go live about, or if you're on holiday, and you want to talk about being on holiday, or if you have something amazing to post about, do that. <laughs> this is just a loose sketch. This is to cue you and help you come up with ideas. So many times I sit down to do my live and I'm like, what am I going to talk about today? I look down at my daily theme. I look at my weekly theme. I Google it and I'm off to the races. So I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to help you if this is something you struggle with. It's not that you don't want to go live. You want to go live. It's not that you don't want to build your business online. You want to build your business online. You just don't know what to talk about. So be flexible. This, these are just cues. This is just ideas for you to plug into so you can share with other people the benefits of Bula Vida in a way that creates curiosity. 
So the first thing we're going to talk about is your daily theme. So if you can, if you would write down Monday through Sunday on a piece of paper. And so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If you write those down, uh, we're going to plug into those days some daily themes. Now, I've given you some ideas here, but you could choose any theme you want to. And you might have different themes because of the job that you do, because of the uh, life that you live, because of what you love to talk about. I highly encourage you to pick themes that you like talking about. I have a counseling background. I love talking about mindset. I am going to talk about mindset every single week, whether it is a theme or not. So mindset's definitely one of my categories. Now, if you don't have a counseling background, but you like to talk about mindset, that's fine too. Talk about mindset. There's a million things to talk about when it comes to mindset. And it's a, it's a pretty broad, generic, good theme. So throw that in there. Or maybe it's motivation on Mondays. Or maybe uh, on Thursdays, you're going to talk about, Thirsty Thursdays, you're going to talk about uh, one drink on Thursdays. So it might be keto coffee, it might be water, it might be sport and go, it might be daily detox, it might be mineral garden, it might be uh, orange juice and how it has all this sugar in it and you didn't know, uh, it might be anything liquid you can talk about, you know, you can talk about how you enjoy one glass of wine or your favorite mocktail, uh, there's all kinds of things you can talk about when it comes to uh, Thirsty Thursdays. So hopefully as I'm talking, you guys are jotting down some of your favorite topics or things that you think you could talk about on a weekly basis. Now remember, you can be flexible here. If you pick a topic this week and next week, you're like, uh, I don't wanna talk about that. Just pick something new, it's okay. You'll find something that's a fit for you. The next thing is you can hashtag, let's just say you picked money to talk about on Mondays. You can hashtag Money Monday, but you can also just have Money Monday as a cue for you. Uh, you're gonna have your piece of paper with your themes written down beside your desk or in your notes in your phone so that you know, okay, it's Monday. What am I gonna talk about today? Click on Monday. Oh, it's Money Monday, <laughs> okay. Uh, and then, the next step, once you know what day it is and what your theme is for that day, uh, we'll go to the next step. Uh, so just a couple comments here. Keto is a great theme uh, because of what we do and who we are. What's cooking is a great theme, like posting a picture of a meal every Wednesday or posting, a, you know, Facebook living, like taking your keto muffins out of the oven or, uh, you know, talking about, uh, you know, posting a picture of an amazing cake you're going to make. Uh, things like that. Uh, people love recipes. They will reach out for recipes. They will comment for recipes. So don't post the recipe, just post a picture of the food and let's create some curiosity around what we're eating and why we look and feel so good. Now, theme specific to our company results. Uh, let's talk about that a little bit. So we have all these amazing products and we have a lot of results. We have an insane amount of results. Actually, we have energy, weight loss, focus, sleep better, look younger, better atmosphere, inflammation, immune system, gut health, toxins, vitamins, uh, blood pressure, joint health, money, residual income, friendship, skin clarity. I mean, it is endless what we can talk about. And so I want you to write down a whole bunch of these and stuff that comes up for you, especially personal stuff. Like if you've lost weight while being with Bula Vida, write down weight loss. If you used to wake up with terrible joint pain, write down joint pain. If you used to get migraines like me, write down migraines, um, you know, we write down anti-inflammation, write down the things that have personally affected you. Those are great results. Now, you don't have to talk about things that personally um, affected you, but sometimes it's easier to talk about the things that we have a personal relationship with. So uh, once you've picked your results, I just want to uh, touch on how important it is to uh, label your posts. So if you're doing a post, I know not everybody's brave enough to go Facebook live or go live in their Instagram or in their stories, uh, but 
I would encourage you to try. I would definitely encourage you to try and go Facebook Live because you get a lot more reach. And if you want to build your business online and if you want to share with people what you're doing, uh, going live is a very powerful way to do that. But whether you're going live or you're posting a picture uh, or a selfie, uh, we want to make sure that we're, we're calling our post something that draws people in. You could have the best Facebook Live in the world content wise. And if you don't label it something good, you just aren't going to get the views. People are drawn just like a book, you know, when they say don't judge a book by its cover or, you know, the thing is, is we're living in a world where people are just scrolling. And if they see a, a headline that says top three ways to get rid of belly fat, that might stop the scroll if they've got belly fat and they want to release it. So think about your title. What's going to pull someone in? A couple things to note is that there's studies out there that show that 63% of people are more likely, either 63% are more likely to click on a title that is negative. And when I mean negative, I mean it's got the word not. So things not to do when it comes to your blood sugar, things not to do when it comes to weight loss, things not to eat when it comes to losing weight. Um, so using the word not is very powerful uh, or, you know, top worst things you can do for your health or uh, something that might be killing you that you didn't know. Uh, things like that draw people in. Some other ways to title your posts are uh, top three, top 10, top seven, uh, not to do or to do, uh, what everybody can do to feel better, look better, lose weight. So just using that, what everybody can do to five little known facts about dot, 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 three little known facts about the shocking truth. The shocking truth will pull people in. Uh, there's a little book it's I think it's around 10 or 11 dollars and it's by the Higdon group you can just google Higdon group and persuasive titles and uh, that book is awesome if you struggle with titles if titles is a hard thing for you um, you can just jump on to their website online and just uh, and order that book it's a great book I highly recommend it um, but if you don't you don't need to buy a book to get titles in fact uh, one of the little hacks to getting a really good title is to uh, Google health magazines. Now we're in the health and wellness uh, arena, so we can do this. This is incredible. There are so many magazines, weight loss magazines, keto magazines, health magazines, essential oil magazines. There are so many magazines that fit our genre. We are in luck because if you Google that and then click on images, you will see images of thousands of magazine covers and when you do you can zoom in and you can use their titles in fact you can use their titles for ideas around posts as well uh, so this is just that's just a great way they have a formula too and uh, these marketers that that put uh, titles on the on the front cover they are paid to come up with really good titles so use their titles use their expertise uh, it's a great hack in titling your contents well. Now, uh, once you've got a great title, you are going to want to uh, do two things. You've you've now written your seven. At least you've got at least you've got two. I mean, you might have all seven right now, but let's just pretend that you chose Mindset Monday. Okay, just we're going to talk about that now. One of the results you decided to choose for this month is weight loss. So. Uh, let's just say every month you're going to have your seven recurring, your, your, your seven, your seven, your seven recurring uh, themes. Okay. Now that's going to happen all year long. You don't ever have to change those. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. Um, you can just keep those seven recurring themes. And like I mentioned, you can hashtag them or not. Totally your call. Uh, the next thing is picking one result. So today I picked weight loss. So I'm going to combine my themes, my topics with weight loss. So mindset and weight loss. Now, if I've got no idea what to talk about or what to do, which I wouldn't. So I'm going to type into Google mindset and weight loss. I'm going to ways to lose weight um, or 
powerful mindset tricks uh, for weight loss, powerful things you can do with your mind to lose weight. I'm going to, I'm going to Google a little bit. I'm going to do a little bit of research and I'm probably going to find thousands of things to do. So uh, I called mine three mind Jedi tricks to ditch belly fat. Okay. The ditch belly fat I got from a magazine cover, the three mind Jedi tricks. I don't know where that came from. And then I'm just my, my uh, ideas are going to be uh, say affirmations like I am beautiful in the mirror every single day. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am exercising. I am fit. I am healthy. So I can talk about affirmations a little bit. Uh, and then I can talk about uh, how I visualize at night getting up and going for a walk as soon as I wake up in the morning. Uh, and then, you know, my third thing. The point is not really what you talk about, though it's great to add value. Like I mentioned before, we want to we wanna add value because it kind of inadvertently makes us the expert. Uh, it makes us the, the, the expert. And I always say, I Googled this or I got this from the Google or, you know, uh, I, I researched how to lose weight with your mind. And this is what I found. Okay. So I'm always giving the source. You don't, you don't have to be the source, uh, nor do you have to be the expert. But if you're going live and posting all the time about things around health, people are going to start to be pulled into what you're doing. And, and, and when they're ready to get started, they're going to want to reach out to you because you've kind of poised yourself as someone who knows what they're talking about when it comes to getting healthy. So every Tuesday, I'm going to do a healthy tip. I like healthy tip as a category because it's super broad. Uh, so four, lose to, four ways to lose weight while you sleep. But if I didn't know what a healthy tip was around weight loss, I could just literally type in healthy tips to lose weight. And I would find many, many, many subjects. And I choose what I want to talk about. That's what I go live with. That's what I post about. Uh, you know, fitness tip Wednesday. I love fitness tip Wednesday. And by the way, if you like these categories, just steal them, <laughs> use them. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if we all have the same categories every single week. Uh, we all have a different network, different reach, and uh, it's super powerful. If you see me go live about something or your, uh, you know, friend go live about something that you love, you could just say, man, I just saw this live. My friend Jenny, she was talking about three mind uh, Jedi tricks to lose belly fat. And I wanted to share what she shared. And you just share what I shared. You don't even have to do the research. Um, people don't mind. Give people credit. Don't give people credit. I like to give people credit. Um, and people watch anyway. They don't mind. They don't even know who Jenny is. But, you know, they're, they're pulled in by the title. They want to know how to lose belly fat. Uh, so, you know, shout out Saturday, I'll talk about shout out Saturday is like you pick one person in Bula Vida who's had a great result. Uh, so uh, shout out to my friend Craig Nelson, who, uh, you know, pretty much decided that he was going to have to give up the love of his life golf for the rest of his life because he was in too much pain to play anymore. Uh, but his wife, uh, made him start taking these supplements every morning. He does what he's told. He took his supplements. And now within 30 days, he's golfing again, super excited, booking tournaments and cannot believe how great he feels. Congrats, Craig. It's great to see you out on the course again. That would be a shout out. I'm not saying anything about Bula Vida. I'm not saying anything about turmeric, ginger or muscadine. But I am shouting out Craig that he had joint pain and now he doesn't. And so uh, why I like this is there's no concerns about compliance or anything. Um, you know, even if I would get even more vague on that and not even say supplements, but just say his wife told him to take a challenge. He took the challenge and now he's golfing again. 
that would be even more powerful. The whole uh, before the challenge, after the challenge is very powerful when you're doing shout outs uh, because our challenge includes more than just supplements. It includes sleeping good. It includes drinking water. It includes exercise. It includes eating right. It's a whole lifestyle. So uh, as a trick, if you're doing a testimonial, make sure to talk about before the challenge and after the challenge. Uh, and then you don't have to worry so much about uh, claims and compliance. So uh, I have examples here, of course, and uh, you can choose what categories you want, but that's just what I do. I choose my, I look at my Monday, I go, oh, okay, I'm going to talk about mindset on Monday. And I choose my theme. I usually choose my theme on Monday. Uh, so I'll just choose, okay, I'm going to talk about antioxidants today. So I kind of Google mindset, antioxidants, do antioxidants affect the brain? Like, you know, like how do antioxidants work? Uh, you know, you don't have to be like, you know, if you're someone that likes to follow the rules and do it exactly, um, this, this is just kind of a, a loose template for you to uh, throw ideas into. So an example of my week two, uh, just to give you another example, Mindset Monday. Uh, so mindset, but now we're going to talk about the category, the result, sleeping better. Okay, so Mindset Monday, better sleep equals better mind. Three tips on catching real Zs. Okay, so anyone who's struggling with sleep is going to read that or click on that and watch that because they want to know maybe there's a secret way that I didn't know um, to, uh, to catching, uh, getting some better, deeper sleep. Healthy Tip Tuesday, three reasons why your lack of sleep is the worst. Uh, you could talk about why your lack of sleep is aging you. You could talk about uh, all kinds of things. A fitness tip, what's going to make you sleep better? Now, if you don't know an exercise tip, which pretty much is any exercise, an exercise tip that will guarantee you a better sleep, Google it. What's an exercise that's going to help me sleep better through the night? I don't know. Maybe it's swimming. I always have a good sleep after I go for a swim. Who knows? Just Google it and have fun with it. That's the point. Um, you know, have a lot of fun. Create curiosity. Uh, make it always think about like, how could I get people to reach out to me here? Maybe you have a bonus tip. If you really struggle with sleeping and you want to know what I take, feel free to reach out to me because I take something that not only helps me sleep good, but I don't have muscle, muscle spasms or restless legs anymore, you know? So you can just kind of mention that you take a product or mention that your company has this amazing product or mention that your friend Susie couldn't sleep and now she sleeps through the night just using a few different uh, tricks. Uh, so we don't, we don't out really talk about Bula Vida or the products because what happens is when we do that, we send people to Google and people will Google the product and they'll just order it. They don't even know you have a link. Um, or the, even if you have on your Facebook profile that you're a Bula Vida ambassador, they might just click on that. If they don't really know you, they might just click on that and, uh, and find their way to the Bula Vida site and not even remember that it was you that connected them there. So we want to create curiosity as a way to draw people in, as a way to get people to reach out, to private message us, to ask us questions. And, uh, and so that is, that is why we don't talk about specifics. Uh, it also helps us, of course, with health claims and compliance. So I want to briefly talk about stories uh, and very briefly, this is a whole other training, which I will absolutely share another training on stories, but just uh, if you're like dabbling in stories or you're doing it, but you're not doing it with intention. Uh, and, and for a long time, I would just post like random pictures, but I didn't really know what I was doing. <laughs> I'll talk a little bit about stories. If you don't know what stories are, you can Google it and, uh, or, you know, I've got a couple trainings on stories that are really basic, but basically stories are like this 24 hour, it only lives for 24 hours in your stories. And it's this like little glimpse into the behind the scenes of someone's life. Uh, so my Facebook profile, my business page, if I have one, those are like, this is my life, this is my lifestyle, this is my kids, this is my family, this is me living a healthy life, this is me living a wealthy life, this is me having fun, this is me sharing um, health tips, this is me, uh, you know, this is me, this is my life. And, and it's kind of like the TV show of my life, you know, it's the, the, um, 
the editing's already on the cutting room floor. You don't see the editing. You just see like what we want to show to the world. Um, the, and that's, you know, if you're reaching out to strangers, asking if they want to take a look and they look at your profile, they're going to see like, oh, it's a real person. She has a nice life. She looks healthy. She looks positive. She looks like she knows what she's talking about. Maybe I'll check out her opportunity. Uh, so with your stories, that's more like behind the scenes, like, ah, I just got my nails done, broke a nail. Um, or you'll never believe what happened to me today on my walk. And then you kind of then and you say that and then they wait because they want to see the next story and then it's like you know you show blackberries and you're like I love blackberries because they're keto and then the, maybe the next one is do you do keto and a yes or a no okay so um but just the very basics of stories is get good at taking pictures of what you're eating get good at taking pictures when you're going for your walk or doing your exercise or doing push-ups for the first time um, take a screenshot of quotes and posts and other people's stories that you like. Um, in your stories, this is actually a really great place where we can be a little bit more obvious. We can shout out Bula Vida if we're having a two for one special, if we're having a sale, if we're having some kind of product launch. Uh, you can be talking about it, never going to believe it, what's coming, never believe what my company just announced. Like you can do that. Um, just remember, you're kind of telling a story behind the scenes of your life. Uh, and so uh, one thing that you could create is just a little list of like, what do I do in my stories? You could create an album. So you're taking lots of pictures and you're just putting them in your stories album. So when you're not sure what to post, you can go to that album and pick your favorite quote that you screenshotted or, um, you know, use a picture of your feet and talk about going for a walk. Uh, and then uh, some ideas on everyday daily posting is what are you eating? What supplements are you taking? What are you drinking? What are you learning about? What are you curious about? Uh, getting ready for the day, doing your daily exercises. Um, you could literally, if you do exercises every day, you could every single day post doing your push-ups or every single day post doing your sit-ups. If we're doing a butt and belly sizzle challenge, you're talking about it in your stories. Um, ask questions in polls, uh, and I will do a training on that, but just you know, be curious and, uh, and send people to your page. Hey, if you wanna know more about losing um, belly fat, go to my Facebook and watch my Facebook Live. I just did an awesome, awesome uh, Facebook Live about ways to lose your belly fat. One tip from that live is X, Y, Z. So hopefully that's not too much information. I just wanted to touch on stories today to help you um, try, just have fun with it, post anything you want in it for this week, uh, this next couple of weeks, just get good at always throwing in a story and then slowly but surely you can work on that muscle. So if anyone has questions, uh, just tag me in the comments and ask your questions. Uh, please 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 post what are your categories we can all share our categories if you have something i didn't suggest i'd love to see it if you uh, have things that i did suggest i'd love to see it uh, this is a joint effort and i'm so proud to be building bula vita with all of you uh, good luck with your social media have an amazing day be blessed and bye for now